A company in Southampton says it's cracked the science behind making the next generation of plastics from organic material. Until now, the industry has been reliant on oil-based plastic. Scientists now claim the future for plastic manufacture could be a chemical extracted from plants and trees. Here's our business correspondent, Alistair Fee. As a country, we're using some three and a half million tonnes of plastic a year. About a quarter of that ends up at centres like this. But despite the success of household recycling, the majority of plastics we use are still going to landfill. But that could be a thing of the past. A company in Southampton has been working on the next generation of plastic, which is compostable. I think for the plastic industry, it could be hugely transformative. Um, so many of these plastics at the moment are made from oil. They are not biodegradable. With these developments that we're making, they will be both biodegradable and also sustainable. We can make more and more um, plastics from natural materials. The scientific breakthrough has taken place at the University of Warwick. It's here they've isolated a chemical from plants they say will mean they can rival conventional oil-based plastics. We've demonstrated the feasibility. On the laboratory scale, we've shown that this is feasible which nobody's done before. Um, but the next stage is to optimise the yield of these uh, chemicals and scale it up. Uh, industrially, this has to be done on a much bigger scale, and you have to work out uh, and optimise a process for doing that. The move towards the new generation of plastics is prompting debates in the industry. Some question how biodegradable it will be and to what extent it will be recyclable. There's also concern about combining them with existing plastics in the system and the effect that will have at centres like this. The industry says they're still a few years away from the manufacture of biodegradable household items. The next stage is to scale up the production of organic chemicals. For now, recycling centres will continue to lead the way in processing our plastic waste. Alistair Fee, BBC South Today. With only three roads into the city, no place in the south has...